Hey there. Today we are going to be doing a little surgery, uh, transplant surgery to be exact. We're going to be taking the Avid HDX card out of this Mac Pro and putting it into this Sweetwater Creation Station. Now I know what some of you might be asking, why are you replacing a Mac with a PC? Well, there's several reasons. A lot of them have to do with the way we operate things around here at the college. Uh, but I will tell you this. We bought this in 2013. That's when the Mac trash can came out. So the fact that we bought one of these before you couldn't get them anymore, that was deliberate. See, this is a beautiful machine. It is designed very well. Now look at this. All I gotta do is flip one lever and the whole thing comes apart. The PCI card is easily accessible. It's wonderful. Now, no matter what kind of Mac I get, I need to use an expansion chassis in order to use my PCI card. And by the way, you probably don't want to get me started on an Apple rant. There's plenty of those on YouTube right now, so we'll leave it at that. Anywho, so we got this guy opened up. We need to take out the HDX card and we're going to put it into this. So here we go. Okay, so the first thing is we need to take off these little screws right here. This is a little brace that's holding the PCI cards in there. Just got to loosen those up a little bit so that I can do the rest by hand. There we go. Got to disconnect our power right here. This little guy right here slides backwards like that. There we go. Now as far as PCs go, I'm equally impressed with the Sweetwater Creation Stations. These are beautifully built machines too. Just unscrew this little guy right here. One screw here, one screw here, and she's open. So right in here is where our PCI cards are going to go. First thing I need to do is take off this guard right here. I have these little stabilizers right here that you can slide onto those and stabilize the card if you want. But I first gotta take this off. Try not to drop your screws. Go, go. If you do drop your screws down in there, you probably don't wanna use something magnetic because there's all kinds of things in the computer that are affected by magnetism. But if you go to an auto parts store, you can find a little grabber that is really handy at grabbing things in tight spaces. I'm gonna put it into this spot right here. And the first thing I need to do is take the little uh, protective guard off right here. These little things here. Now another thing I'm gonna do is that I'm going to loosen up this drive bay here a little bit because this is actually a very big and wide PCI card and the space underneath here is actually kind of snug. So loosening this up just a little bit allows it to get in there a little easier. Just a little bit so it has a little room to flex there. All right. Here's where it gets a little tricky. You kind of have to angle it in place. You don't want to force these things too, too badly because they, uh, they can break. You can bet that there would be a lot of swearing if I was to break this guy in half, which you might actually find very entertaining, but I wouldn't. All right, so now we've got this positioned in place. You can kind of see how these two little ports right here line up with this. You've got a small port and a big port. It lines up just like that. And then it pushes right into place like that. And we want to put our little screw that was holding the little guard plate in there. We want to take that screw now to hold in the PCI card. A little trick when you're putting in little screws, hold the side of them with your finger like that so that they don't go away. And again, someone might say, well, use magnetic. No, not in a computer, you don't. All right, now we need to connect the power supply. Now I should point out that the power supply cable for a PC is different than that for a Mac. 
So if you ever buy yourself an HDX card, don't throw anything away. You may someday need this little PC assembly right here. Now here's another reason why I love Sweetwater's computers is because this is an older style power supply and their newer computers have a newer style power supply that doesn't have this same type of connection. But Sweetwater was thoughtful enough to say, here's an adapter that you're probably going to need. Thanks, Sweetwater. All right, so here's our power supply right here. I want to connect right in here. There we go. And now we find the right connection for our HDX cards power supply. Now the reason why they have a couple of these is just in case you have more than one HDX card. But we only have one and it's going to go right in here. There we are. Tidy up my cables here and tighten this drive back up. Put this guy back on here. Put our panel back on. And we're done. So here's the HDX card. You're going to connect your DigiLink cable from the primary port to your first interface. And then you're going to connect them from there as specified in the instruction manual, which you should read when you're installing one of these anyway. And this right here, that's the serial port in case you have an Avid Sync.